We gonna have some fun. I'm not gonna lie because I'm going into this a bit hesitantly because I've seen smart frames before and they either look weird or they sound bad or sometimes just both and they're just a disaster. However, the sound core by Anchor Frames are trying to reframe your sound and generally Anchor is a good company and they have some quality products. So hopefully they did a good job with this one. But basically we're looking at some sunglasses that have speakers and microphones so you can listen to music and take and make phone calls. It sounds pretty good, but there is one thing that I'm not liking about this, although I guess you could solve this on your own. And that is the fact that these are sunglasses, so technically they only work for outside situations. If you go inside wearing sunglasses, people are gonna look at you like you're crazy. They also don't offer prescription lenses as of yet, but they do say you could take these to your optometrist and get prescription lenses put in for you there, so you could definitely solve that problem. And as for wearing the sunglasses inside, you could solve that problem by getting transition lenses installed in these things, although I feel like they should have just came with those. But then again, I guess the price would be a bit higher. With that being said, the frames are interchangeable and you can purchase additional frames for 50 bucks each set comes with one frame as well as the stems that have all the technology in them for 200 bucks so you know not too bad but it looks like those stems are where the money's at now being that the actual frames with the lenses are 50 bucks hopefully they're quality glasses because 50 bucks i don't feel like that's too cheap so they should at least be adequate quality we are looking at spacious sound via open surround system five and a half hours of playtime, two mics for clear phone calls they're ipx4 water resistant and they have incredible sound loved by 20 million plus people. By having dual speakers positioned above and behind each ear to give you an immersive surround sound experience. I mean, that sounds great and all. I mean, if we can get a little bubble around your ears without actually having earbuds on, that'd be pretty cool. Although, obviously you're gonna be able to hear your surroundings, so this is great for people who are commuting on bikes and such. But all I'm saying is sound loved by 20 million people, these are like news, so that's obviously talking about like their headphones just in general to anchor products, but hopefully Soundcore did a good job with these. But as you can see, I have two pairs here. I have the Tour as well as the Landmark, or the Tour as well as the Landmark. I'm not sure which one's which. The boxes look identical to me, but we'll figure that out. Hopefully they look good on me, hopefully they feel good, and hopefully they sound amazing. All right, right here looks like we have the Tour, and then over on this side, That's kind of weird. <laughs> how come how come one of them's backwards? Let me just wait, what? <laughs> okay, that's weird. Let me let me redo this for you guys. Let me put it back in here. This is how it should look, I think. Or maybe this is how it should look. I'm not sure which one's right. I'm not sure why one looks different. It's kind of weird. But yeah, here we go. We got the tour on this side, we got the landmark on this side. It does say small size for this one, standard size for this one, and these I mean these do look pretty big. Huh, these are some cop shades right here. And then these, I mean, these are the small size, but they also look pretty big. Well, I mean, I guess if you have a big face, I, I feel like I have a decently big head overall, so we shouldn't have any issues here. But inside the box, we do have your choice of frames, the sunglass stems with all the technology in it, quick start and safety guides, a proprietary magnetic charging cable that allows you to charge both sides at the same time. That's nice. As well as a magnetic case here. This is actually pretty nice. Nice material on the inside. Magnetic closure looking good with some Soundcore branding right here on the front. So that's nice to see. Now with that being said, I got one set of the stems here along with both frames because technically we only need one because they're interchangeable. Now the stems is usually where smart glasses lose me because they're, they're super thick, very bulky, don't blend in whatsoever. Everyone knows you got something on. These, they're kind of in the middle. They're a bit thick. I'll, Okay, I was wondering what was beeping. I think these are beeping. So that actually sounded pretty cool. It sounded like surround sound, even though they're not even on me. So that's very nice. But like I was saying <laughs> before I got interrupted, they're right in the middle. They don't look too flashy, but I mean, if you really look at them, you're like, oh, he has something on him. But they look all right, and they're pretty lightweight. And that speaker sounded good though, that's all I'm saying. Now if we take a look here, you can see both speakers. As you can see, your ears are gonna go right here in the middle. You're gonna have a speaker on each side, so that way you have an immersive experience. And based on what I heard already, I'm pretty impressed so far. Down here on the bottom is where we have the magnetic charging pins, and up here is where the frames are gonna connect and fold in, so that's nice. And then right here, we have a touch-sensitive button. 
that allows you to do different things like make phone calls, pause and play music, etc. And that's actually on both sides. So that's cool. I'm sure one side does something else, probably volume or something, but we'll take a look at that. Taking a look at the landmark shades. These, you know what? These are actually not too big. These might be my go-to pair right here. They're a decent size, look like normal wafer frames. And seriously, I mean, they look pretty good. Oh yeah, I forgot. They are polarized lenses, by the way, so top tier. And then we are on to the tour style of frames, and these ones, you know, it's weird. In my hands, they don't look as big, so in the box, they look huge. But right here, look like a normal size. Nice darkness, let me try this on. You know what? Drop test! <laughs> they survived, so that's good. But you know what? I mean, they don't feel that big. I don't know how big they look on me, but I mean, they feel all right. Now the quality, the metal, I mean, it's very lightweight, very thin, can probably break easily if you sit on these. I feel like these are definitely better quality than these because they have thicker plastic, but you know, sunglasses is what it is, but they're not the most high quality frames you could possibly get in the entire world. You're paying for the smart features, which is only phone calls and music no augmented reality stuff. So let's start off with the landmark frames. We're gonna just pop this into place. The other side in, easy. Okay, these have a lot more weight with these and now that they're on here, I mean, they're kind of big. Let me peel off this plastic. And now let me try these on before we even get started. I mean, they feel pretty good. It's actually kind of cool. I heard it go do 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 do. It's still doing some. It's still doing some beeps and everything, and, and it's actually sounding like surround sound. I'm pretty impressed. I mean, this is pretty cool. But you guys can see how I look with these. Do I look pretty good? I mean, I feel like these just feel like sunglasses when I'm wearing them. But do they look like just sunglasses when I'm wearing them? That's the question. Now we're moving these. If you want to switch frames, all you do is. Oh, here we go. You just kind of have to force it out. You know, it's not too much, but you know, give it some effort. And now one thing I didn't notice, it didn't come with a microfiber cloth and I think I'm getting fingerprints everywhere, so keep that in mind. But let's try these on. I feel like these are gonna be the ones I'm actually gonna be wearing. Nice clickiness. Perfect. And now, I mean, it's all blends and it's all black, so. Okay, these definitely feel smaller. I feel like this is a perfect fit for my face and I just figured something out. When you put them on, it beeps, it knows they're on your face. When you take them off, I'm guessing the music will just pause by itself, so that's pretty cool. But these right here, I have to look good in these, right? I feel like this is perfect for me. Now, how do they look? Do they look good? I hope so. Good news, Face ID works through these glasses, so thumbs up for that. So in order to get the most out of these, you're gonna to wanna to download the Soundcore app from your app store. So we have a variety of different settings. We can add a frame up here on the top. So we actually have the Landmark Black, which is all the way at the end. We'll just pick that so we can see what we're using. You can see our battery percentage. It's a little over half charged. And then we have sound effects. So we have privacy mode, which is apparently great to reduce sound leakage, maintaining privacy and avoiding disturbing others around you in a quiet environment. So that's pretty cool. Then we have default equalizer. So we can actually choose sound core signature, acoustic, dance, podcast, or classical, depending on what you're listening to. Then we have custom EQ, so you can actually customize it to your liking. But then we get kind of interesting. We have wearing detection, so the music will automatically start playing when your frames are put on, and it will automatically pause when you take them off. So that's a very nice feature to have. We have wearing calibration. So as shown in the picture, place the glasses on a flat surface with no obstructions. Do not turn the glasses upside down. Start the wearing calibration process. It'll take approximately five seconds. Okay, so I guess we'll be quiet. And just like that, we're calibrated. Okay, I guess I can put them back on. So you can customize what double taps do on left and right side. So on the right side, I want play and pause, but on the left side, I would like a double tap to do a voice assistant. That'll be cool. And then you can swipe too. So on the left side, swipe front to back to go to the previous song, back to front to go next. So I want the volume to go down when I swipe backwards. And when I swipe forward, I want the volume to go up. I guess it only goes in increments. It, it's not like a smooth thing, but you know, it's better than nothing. And then we have laboratory functions. So voice control, after turning on, you can control frames using voice control without a wake word, for example, say next song, eh, probably not. And you can also have it power off in three seconds. So, I mean, very simple stuff. So let's start testing them out. All right, so now first things first, I guess we might as well start off by taking a look 
at a video on YouTube, seeing if we have any delay. So hopefully there is no delay. Well, that's very good. Perfectly in sync with the video. Very nice to see, because I thought they might not be. I hate that, but we're perfect. Huh. I mean, they're, they're about what I was hoping for. Now, obviously I would hope for the best, but you know, I was keeping my expectations level. So they're pretty close to what I was expecting. They sound decently clear. You could hear a little bit of distortion, but the good news is like when you're playing this, as you can see, when I took it off, it stopped playing. When I put it back on, starts playing. Take it off. It stops. So that's really cool. But the quality, it's not bad. Gets to a loud volume. It does feel like you have earbuds in, especially when you're in a quiet environment like this. But then once you start talking, watch. Once you start talking, you're like, oh, I can hear myself just fine. So you can definitely hear background noise. So that's great if you're commuting on a bike, you need to hear traffic around you. And I mean, huh, they're not bad. They're not as crystal clear as I was hoping. They have a, I don't want to really call it bass, but it doesn't feel like completely flat. So you do feel a bit more dimension. And plus it does feel like a surround sound experience engulfing your ears. So that's actually really cool. Now, one of the bad things, which is to be expected is it, it, you know, anyone who's next to you can hear what you're playing. So watch out. It's not like headphones, but if you want an idea of how they sound, I mean, definitely not bad. I mean, decently impressive overall. It does have dimension. Like it's flat, but not completely flat. We gonna have some fun. I mean, <laughs> color me pretty impressed with these. I mean, I could definitely wear these if I'm going around town on, on a electric scooter or something, you know, and I want to hear my surroundings, but I also want to enjoy some music where it's not overly loud. So everybody I'm driving by can hear it, but if they're close enough, they could definitely hear it. But now, you know what? Let's test out phone call quality. See how good a phone call sounds to me and also how good it sounds to you. Now, I mean, the phone call sounds basically exactly how it sounds through the phone. All right, guys, here's a raw and edited audio sample of the microphones on the Soundcore frame, completely unedited, right from the frames, I guess, right to your ears. Hopefully it sounds good. I mean, the phone calls, this thing's good for phone calls. Everything sounded clear. Okay, the good news is I just listened to the recording and the microphones actually sound good. So thumbs up for that. This, these are great for phone calls. Now, I'll actually let you hear how a phone call would sound coming through these if I can do that. So let's try that out real quick. Completely unedited right from the frames, I guess, right to your ears. Hopefully it sounds good. I mean, the phone calls, this thing good for phone calls. Everything kind of clear. So, I mean, overall, not bad. The audio quality is acceptable. We'll definitely get the job done. It isn't terribly bad where you're like, I don't even want to listen to this. Forget this, I'm throwing on my headphones. Like, it's actually pretty good. Now, remember the downside, sunglasses, walk inside, gotta take them off. I mean, of course you could leave them on, but then people would be like, who's this guy think he is wearing sunglasses inside? I mean, to be fair, if you go to Walmart, their incandescent lighting is like, <laughs> so there's that. But if you get these with some transition lenses, that would be golden. You can get some prescription lenses if you go to your optometrist and have them put them in. So you might as well just go all out and have transitions because that would make the most sense. But I mean, I'm pretty impressed. The microphone quality sounds great. Phone calls sound basically the same as using the phone, because you know, that's pretty simple. Phone calls aren't that clear to begin with. But then the music is acceptable. Audio and video is in sync. So I mean, not bad. I could definitely recommend these. Now 200 bucks is a wee bit pricey, but it might be worth it if you're gonna be using these every day. But if you want better audio quality, you know, just bring for some good sunglasses that you probably already have. Use some good headphones that you probably already have. They probably have that mode where you can have the surroundings come in too. So kind of defeats the purpose of this, but this does leave your ears completely exposed so that way you can hear everything while also enjoying some music. I mean, it's, it doesn't sound half bad. 